time, it's a big deal. <laughs> Hi, kid. If you love the bad seed. Dun, 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 dun. If you love the couch potato, or if you love the good egg, or if you love the sour grape, or the cool bean. We have their sweetest relative right here, the smart cookie. Oh, storyteller! Well, hello, Olivia the Ostrich. I can't help but notice that your top looks much like the sprinkles on the smart cookie. Oh, <laughs> thank you for noticing. Always dressing the part, brava! Oh gosh, I, I did think about it a little bit. But anyway, if you have never heard of The Bad Seed or The Couch Potato or The Sour Grape or any of those books, it doesn't matter because all you need to know is that this whole family of books are awesome. <laughs> I got here as fast as I could. Oh, Green Bear, I hope you're not disappointed, but we don't have actual cookies. What? We have the smart cookie. Oh! <laughs> I just heard cookie and then I heard nothing else. But smart cookie, this is cool. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, he took that a lot better than I thought he would. All right, let's take a seat. It's cookie time. And this is not just a cookie. It's a smarty cookie with oh, so many things in that cookie mind about the world and kid time story times and arts and sciences and music and space and, and film. Oh, no limits. Look at this. Just a perfect combination of arts and sciences, tools, certificates, and and maps of the world and things to see the stars. Greetings, I'm a cookie. I live in a bakery on a street corner near a river. Not just any street corner, sweet street. Come on in. Well, don't mind if we do. I mean, this looks just like perfect ye old fashioned bakery with a classic awning right by the water where you can probably hear the sounds of the boats as they go by. Welcome to our little community. It's a warm and supportive place to spend some time. Warm, as in warm from the oven warm. Pretty fantastic, eh? I'd say we've got a fresh soft pretzel and a chocolate chip cookie. <sighs> this place looks awesome. I know, but wait, there's more. Ugh. There's macaroons. Ugh, she doesn't like that. And we have cakes and baguettes and croissants. Ooh la la. And cherry pie and and we have cupcakes and muffins and ooh, that's a cinnamon roll with extra gooey cinnamon on top. And there is our smart cookie. These days, life is sweet, but my journey wasn't always a cakewalk. <laughs> cakewalk, cookie humor. When I was younger, I couldn't have imagined fitting in here. What? How can you not imagine it? This is the most perfect place in the world for a smart cookie to be. This absolutely warm, delicious, inviting bakery. For a long time, I didn't feel comfortable speaking up or sharing my ideas. I didn't feel like a smart cookie. What? You didn't feel like a smart cookie when you obviously were a smart cookie? What happened? Oh, take a look here. I think we're about to have a flashback sequence that tells the origin tale of the smart cookie. Flashback sequence. I wanted to be a cookie who knew all the answers. I feel that. A cookie who felt confident in a group. A cookie who said, aha, when solving a puzzle like this, aha. Okay, we should do it like this, aha. <laughs> that is a satisfying feeling. Looking back, I had some trouble in my early days. I went to school in a gingerbread house. <gasps> Is this the most perfect gingerbread house you have ever seen? The perfect gum drop roof, the peppermint over the doors, the perfect swirlies, the lollipop tree. Our teacher, Miss Biscotti, was kind 
and patient. Hello. Oh, Miss Biscotti. I love hanging out with Miss Biscotti over cappuccinos. When I arrived each morning, she'd wave at me and smile, but I didn't get the best grades. And I never raised my hand because I couldn't think of the answers as fast as the others. I know, I know. Pick me, pick me. I raised my hand first. Me, 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 me. Please, 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 please. Meanwhile, Smart Cookie is trying to literally fit into her desk. And I was the last to finish most tests. Sigh. Ooh, I'm sensing that our smart cookie is a little shy and gets extra stressed out at test taking time. That happens, you know. And it wasn't because I didn't care, and it wasn't because I didn't try. Sometimes I'd get distracted and mess up, even though I knew the material. Those were the most frustrating moments of all. It is so, so hard when you are thinking about important things like rocket ships. Once I misspelled the word dough, that was rough. Dough. See, the thing is that this is Doe, and then this is doe, a deer, a female deer. See the difference? Doe, doe, and now you know. Another time, I added when I meant to subtract. Oh no, she's crumbling under the pressure. But what's happening is she thinks she has to rush through these things. And, and just because you're smart doesn't mean you have to be fast necessarily. Sometimes intelligence takes time to work things out. Somebody just has to tell smart cookie. Oh, 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 um, what happened? Why is it, why are we suddenly in a rainstorm? Here, here, grab my umbrella. Oh, thanks, Green Bear, okay. Occasionally, we'd have a lesson where I had absolutely no idea what was happening. I just couldn't keep up. Oh, it is hard to keep up and you don't have the right tools, you know what I mean? I imagined that my desk was a raft and that I was completely lost at sea and apparently surrounded by sharks because that's what it felt like. Oh. This is rough. Uh, maybe we'll have better weather on the next page. Okay, we're inside. Thanks, Green Bear. You're welcome. At night, I slept in a cookie jar. I had about six dozen roommates. Move. You move. No, you move. No, you move. No, you move. Oh. I'd stay awake and stare out the window and worry. Sigh. Oh. I think our smart cookie might be a bit of a worry warrior. And it went this way, day after day after day after day. But then something happened that changed everything. Let me guess, they ate you. What? No, everybody knows you don't eat a cookie that talks to you and just gave you its origin story. Move on. Apologies, moving on. It all started with a homework assignment. Ms. Biscotti requested our attention one afternoon. Tonight, I would like you to create something completely original, she announced. It could be anything you want. Please bring it to class tomorrow. That's your homework. That was it. There were no further instructions. Ms. Biscotti winked at me like this. As I gathered my belongings, oh, I felt like I had a million butterflies in my stomach. Ooh, pretty windmill. Create anything, anything, no limits. Something original, love it. Do tomorrow. We gotta hurry. Gulp. Okay, the pressure is on. When I got home, I immediately went to work. At first, I tried a cooking project. Uh, the results were half-baked cookie humor. Next, I tried to hammer and nail something. It splintered immediately. And that right there is an angry bird. Then, I tried making a sculpture. It was a complete 
bust. I wondered if I was about to fail yet another assignment. I was stuck. And now, thanks to the smart cookie, we can see that that is actually how the cookie crumbled. I stared out the window and watched the rain hit the river. Okay, rain's back again. Oh, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. This part is completely dry. There was something mesmerizing about the water, how it moved in such a chaotic way, swirling around and around, yet ultimately figuring out exactly where it needed to go. Almost like a metaphor for life, if you will. Suddenly, I had an idea. I decided to write something original, a poem. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, this is how we do it. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, actually, it could work this way too. This is so satisfying. You should have an aha pencil in your life. I came up with a title based on how I'd been feeling. My crummy days. Oh, yes. Poems based on real experience and feelings, the best. After that, the rest of it seemed to fall into place. I wrote, and I wrote with icing. I lost track of time. An hour went by in a flash. Like that. Aha, I said when I was finished. Aha, you should really get an aha pencil and do this. I am telling you, it really gives you a certain mm. I couldn't sleep that night, but it wasn't because I was worried. Mm -mm -mm. It was because I was excited. I felt like I had really accomplished something. I felt smart. The following day, Ms. Biscotti asked for volunteers to share what we'd created. One kid showed off his original frosting art. Oh, very nice. Very original. Another kid revealed her sprinkle distribution machine. Look at that, the Sprinkle Master 3000. Another round of applause. The inventiveness. It was neat seeing how everyone was good at such different things. Look at this guy right there. I thought he was just a croissant, but no, this is apparently Albert Croissantstein. Ooh la la. Finally, Ms. Biscotti turned to me. Would you like to share anything? She asked. Gulp! I gulped. I thought I'd probably crumble under the pressure. No, you've got this. You've got this. You've got this. I made my way to the front of the classroom. I noticed my hands were shaking. My mouth went dry. And suddenly, look! Smart cookies in a spotlight! Um, um. But no one else had a spotlight like that, just like they were in the middle of a stage, up for everyone to look at, like so. Wow. This feels very dramatic when you're in this kind of a spotlight. This poem is called My Crummy Days, I said my voice cracking, and then I read it out loud, shaking, shaking, shaking like a Polaroid picture. As I spoke, I noticed some kids nodding at certain lines. Oh yeah, I feel that. Wow, this is amazing. It's like she can read my heart. Other kids laughed at parts that were supposed to be funny. <laughs> oh, 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 that was so funny. As I built towards the finale, I felt myself becoming more confident and animated with considerably less shaking. And in the end, everybody clapped and cheered. <sighs> I promise you this, I'll never, ever forget it. Miss Biscotti was beaming. No one but you could have written that poem, she said. It was completely original. And look at Smart Cookie basking in the glow of the praise and accomplishment, the way you feel when you have done the thing. Aha! Aha! Okay, you have your pencil by now, right? 
I mean, you could use like a brown pencil or like a, a swirly colored pencil or a, a blue pencil will work or a black sparkly pencil will work or um, a Sharpie will work or a um, random microphone will work. The point is, get something. Yeah. I had done it. I created something and shared it with the world. Well, my world at least and your world is the world. The rest of the day was a blur. <laughs> By recess, I was already planning my next poem. I would call it My Sweet Morning. Aha! I thought when I came up with the title. Aha! Later that afternoon, Ms. Biscotti handed me a note. Oh. It said that I should keep on writing no matter what. Wow. That meant so much to me. It is such a big deal. When a grown-up like that recognizes your talent, especially when you were a kid, you don't even necessarily know how talented you are at something yet because you're still discovering who you are. But grown-ups, because they're grown-ups, can frequently see the talent inside of you. So when you get that encouragement, mm, you gotta run with that. School was a bit different after that. I wasn't so scared to raise my hand or ask a question. Me, 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 I know the answer. Or share my work. Look at the artistry coming out. Sure, some things still don't come as easily for me as they do for others, bonk. Same, same. But now I know that you can be smart in many different ways. Oh, this is so wise. You could be smart at filmmaking and visual storytelling. You could be smart athletically calculating the skateboard moves even in the middle of a move yourself. You can be super brilliant at fitness and training and the way the body builds strength. You can be super smart in knowing exactly what people need in the very moment. Or you could be musically smart. <laughs> like that. You don't have to have the answers to every question or suddenly be great at everything all at once. You just need a chance to try all kinds of things to find out who you are and what you like to do. Oh, you know what that is? Truth bomb! It is so true, so deep, so impactful that it's worth reading again because I don't only want you to hear that, I want you to feel that. You just need a chance to try all kinds of things to find out who you are and what you like to do. Did you feel that? Did you feel that? Because that's your job, finding out who you are and then <laughs> you will feel so incredibly smart and confident. As for me, I think I learned that I can write and I can think of pretty great ideas and I have found plenty of other things I'm good at too. I no longer feel lost at sea. Okay, good. No rainstorms or anything? Okay, we're good. It's more like floating down a river and the best part is there's always more to learn because we're all smart cookies. Aha, aha, aha! That's right, because we can all have our aha moments discovering what we're good at and what makes us feel smart and strong and confident. Like presidential politics. Or acting. Or romancing and all things French, ooh la la. And that road to confidence begins when you dare ask yourself that one vital question. What kind of a smart cookie are you? <laughs>